Okay, let's see what we have here. So this thing is a vacuum tube testing machine. It uh, was in really bad shape when I got it, like really bad shape. It didn't have a lid, so I made this lid and the lid fits perfectly. The color is slightly off, but not very much. Looks great. I had to replace the hardware. Uh, this was, was, well, this isn't a video about me restoring this, it's just what that device is. It tests that vacuum tube. This is a 1949 General Electric television. Oh, let's see. An old fan. Um, this uh, giant uh, magnifying glass is like a, I don't know, like a high school physics thing. Um, this is a theater, um, a theater light. It has this nice little uh, glass lens on the end of it. It's kind of cool. This is a mechanical calculator. Back in the day when they needed a separate row of digits for every, um, every decimal place. This is an old ammeter, well, watt meter, actually, this is a watt meter. Um, this, was, this, this one turned out really nice. I needed to do a lot of work on that one. I needed to recreate these little buttons there, shined up everything. This used to have nickel plating, but I decided to keep it brass. A little handheld ammeter, and that tiny little thing is also an ammeter. Weird glasses that I haven't figured out yet. Oh, can't hear it. This is another mechanical calculator. A huge beast here. This must weigh 40 or more pounds. It prints out. That's the big difference. Uh, my oscilloscope. Little piece of artwork there. This circuit board is from NASA from the Apollo program. It's not from a spacecraft, at least probably not from a spacecraft, but still pretty darn cool. So I mounted it and made a frame for it. Uh, another ammeter. So back in the day, all of these devices used to come in their own boxes. Right, so everything had a beautiful box. I think, think that's kind of cool. This beast right here is 15 inches long, it's over a foot long. It's almost five pounds. It's a railroad adjustable wrench, monkey wrench. And that's a little baby version of it. So uh, this is from the original company founded by the uh, guy who, who patented this design in the first place. He used to make knives, and so his handles look like knife handles. This is a much later version, so they traded out the, the wood for 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 iron, for steel, but they kept that little detail there. I, th I think that's kind of cool. These are mechanical calculators too, but they're electric mechanical calculators, not digital. But the inside of these look awesome. A bunch of gauges there, mostly voltmeters. In fact, all of them are voltmeters. The one in the middle is also uh, from, from the Apollo program. This is a, called a volt box. I have it lying on its side. But it's, it's to extend the range, or restrict the range even, or make, change the range, I should say, of a potentiometer. So you hook your potentiometer up there, you hook your device, one here and one to some, one of these other guys, and, uh, and off you go. Here's some of my favorite vacuum tubes in my vacuum tube collection. Some of these are military vacuum tubes. Um, maybe half of them, and the other half are just um, interesting civilian vacuum tubes from uh, radios or other applications. You'd think I'd have more typewriters. This is my only typewriter, at least the only one put together. Uh, I had another one, it belonged to my grandmother, but uh, my typewriter guys threw it away. I was pretty upset about that. A little 
can see on the TV there. And this guy, I haven't started restoring that, so has a lot of work to do. It's pretty nasty.